never heard a train. I never heard a train or anything, man, until I came here. Alarm bells are sounding in Philadelphia about Trank. And you'd see people kind of like walking around looking like animals when their knuckles are touching the ground. Now Art L. Malik's hands and knuckles are swollen to three times their natural size from exposure to the animal sedative xylazine, street name Trank. When I was leaving, some had did samples and that's what got me stuck, man. They had samples of pretty dope. The xylazine now mixed into 90% of Philadelphia's fentanyl and heroin supply, drugs that drive fatal overdoses. Adding a horse tranquilizer, something more sedating, uh, makes it feel like it lasts longer. But now fentanyl addicts newly addicted to xylazine, seen nodding out and falling over along Philadelphia's notorious Kensington Avenue, are also developing dangerous sores on their bodies. Next thing you know, you wake up with these big these holes all over you, these sores in your legs and all wherever, they just pop out of anywhere. Have the doctors told you that you could lose your leg? Yes. And that's not enough to get you to stop? I'm trying. It's not, it's a lot easier said than done. Art L. Malik knows infection could precede amputation. Yeah, I mean, there's a possibility, yeah, it's a possibility. A lot of my friends have lost their limbs already. Withdrawal symptoms associated with Trank can be brutal. I tried, like, cold turkey, man, I had a seizure and everything. You had problems on your legs? I did, man, I had, like, a hole in my, I had a hole in my chin, and I could literally put two fingers in there. We noticed one young man in a wheelchair missing his left foot. A federal law enforcement source told PIX11 News vials of xylazine have already been found in New York City stash houses that produce drugs, and it's spreading to other states. Last I heard, it's probably at least 36 or so. Um, it's spreading um, pretty rapidly. Even though the animal tranquilizer xylazine is causing some people to lose their limbs here in Philadelphia, it is not listed as a controlled substance in the United States. The Drug Enforcement Administration does not regulate it. A non-regulated supply, there's going to be anything and everything. It's not going to help you. Prevention Point Philadelphia has nurses helping with wound care, nutrition, and clean needle supplies. But the drug dealers abound on Kensington Avenue. Ralph Dixon, a lifelong Philadelphia resident, told us he's never seen anything like what's happened with Trank. They are no place for these people. That stuff is, is like eating this their flesh away is probably too, too potent for a human being to be taken in here. And the drug dealers, why are they cutting the drugs with that stuff is beyond me. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.